Hello guys, this is Farjana. Welcome to my Elementor Pro series tutorial part 2. So in today's video, I will show you all about Elementor blog post widgets. And if you still don't have Elementor Pro, I will leave the link in my description to get Elementor Pro. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so again going to dashboard and for this tutorial, I have already installed a theme. So going to appearance and here you can see I have already installed the Astra theme. This is a free theme and I like to use this theme most of the time when I work with Elementor. And here go to pages. So here I have already created several pages. For example, here I'm going to home page and going to edit with Elementor. So here I have imported this page layout from Astra Starter template. So I have installed this one. I'm not going through all of these small details. Here I'm going to focusing only about the Elementor widgets and Elementor Pro elements. Okay, so now let's go ahead. So I'm going here and here is the post widget. So now I'm taking this one and here i have already created three dummy blog post and this is the default skin of these widgets so we are getting this color and font style from this theme by default here is the default skin classic and column by default here is column three we can also customize it to two or four or anything okay i'm okay with the default one and here is post per page here is only three post but here we can show up to three post and image position by default here is image position is top we can also make it to left and that case image width will be decreased like this okay so for this time i'm just leaving the image position to top and making it to 100 percent and here is also a options masonry so when we make it on if there is so many blocks they will take the masonry loop and then here is a title option so we can make it on or off then here is title tag so by default this is taking the h3 tag and then here is excerpt and here is metadata by default here is showing date and comments so here if we want to add more we can also do that for example if we want to add the author name so here we can also do that and then here is separator by default here is three line so we can also change it and then read more we can also make it on or off and then here is the query option so by default here is coming all this post from recent post but here we can also customize the query so we can also select some post by manual or we can also select some post from recent post and also here is post order so we can make the post order by date or title or menu order or we can make it to random and then here is pagination by default this is off so we can make it on so here we cannot see the pagination so here the maximum post number is six so if we have more than six posts that case our pagination will show so for example here is in total three posts so if we make it to two so now we can see here is the pagination showing in pagination here is several options one is by only by numbers then previous and next we can change it to like that and also here is number and previous next text and here is much customization option we can make the alignment to left or right okay so now again going to layout and here post per page we can make it to three for this time and now going to a different one select skin to cart 
so this is a different one i personally like this layout so here here is the post category so if we want to show the text or anything else we can do that so here if we scroll down here you can see the batch so we can make it on or off sorry not this one and here the batch taxonomy by default this is category but here we can make it to text so now i'm making it to category and here we'll show the avatar of the author so here we can make it off and here also the taxonomy read more button excerpt and title so also it can make all these on or off from here and here the third skin is full content so here we can see the blog post is taking the full width personally i don't like this kind of layout i always try to use the classic or cards okay so i'm going with the cards and now if we want to make more customization for example if we want to change our text or font or color so for that i'm going to style tab and from here we can do much more customization so here is column gap we can increase or decrease the column gap column is spacing between this each item and then row gap so if we have more row here is one row only so we can also decrease or increase that spacing and here is alignment we can make the alignment to center by default this is left aligned and then card so here by default here is some shadow we can make it off and here is hover gradient so we can also make it off from here and here is the background color for the card so we can also change that to a different color okay so i'm making it to as default then here is border color so here we can also add border from here and we can also add a color i don't like to add any border with this so i'm making it to zero and removing it and then go to image so from here we can also decrease the spacing between the title and image by default this is 20 pixel and then css filter we can also add some filter with our image and here if we want to add some more filter option on hover for example if we keep it as default on normal state and for the hover state we can make it to blur or we can make it to a different color or something so it will create a small effect on hover okay so going back and here is batch position so we can also change the batch position by default this is on right side we can make it to left and then here is background color for this batch so we can also change it to a different color then here is the text color so we can also change the text color for the batch okay so we can see here is so much customization option so if we want to customize our blog post design to a different one we can also do that and here is much more option you can check all in one by one then here is content customization option so if we want to change the title color from here we can do that and if we want to change the font size like if we want to increase the font size and if we want to change the font family to a different one we can also do that i'm just going back and also going back the color and here here is the style option for meta text so in the similar way you can change the color for the meta text and we can also change the separator color for this from here and here is the typography so we can also change the font size font family for this text 
and also here is the style option for excerpt and here is style option for read more and finally here is the pagination so if we have pagination so we can also change the pagination text color space between and spacing and we can also change the hover effect and active pagination number effect and here if we go to the advanced tab here we can see here is some more advanced options so if we want to add some margin or padding with our widgets we can do that for example here if we want to add some padding 20 so it's working in the four side of these widgets and here if we want to add some margin outside of our widget we can also do that for this time i'm just leaving it and here is custom css id or custom css class option so we can also add this and here is some more advanced option for this time we don't need to use all this and here is the background color for the whole widgets so for this time i'm not changing anything and all others option is okay we need not to use any of this for this time here is the responsive control option so if we want to hide any widgets from desktop or tablet or mobile we can do that by default it's on for all devices and here is finally the custom css option so if we want to add any advanced css or advanced style with our widgets we can also do that okay so finally i want to say one more thing for all widgets we will find these three kind of tab like content style tab and advanced tab so content will be for basic structure then style tab is for styling our widgets and advanced tab will work for advanced customization option so if we understand the basic structure of these three tabs we can play with all other widgets as our need and if we want to make more customization and if we want to design a fully custom layout for this blog post so that case here i have also created a different tutorial so following this tutorial you can customize your blog post design as you want so i will also leave this tutorial link in my description okay so here is all for today so let me know if you have any question or if you like this kind of series tutorial so let me know this will be helpful for you or not and finally if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial